A Canadian veteran is marking a military milestone, trading her combat uniform for a sash and tiara. Mrs. Canada Universe is now taking her powerful presence and message to the world stage. CTV's Kathy Lee has her story. Stitching everything by hand. Each of these poppies is a symbol of remembrance and respect, telling the stories of those who've served. Yeah, and this netting is... Um... Sent to Giselle Drew Walsh by veterans across the country. The dress, a moving tribute she will wear at the Mrs. Universe pageant in South Korea, making history as the first Canadian veteran to do so. The biggest pressure is honestly just wanting to represent Canada the best that I can, but also the military and the veterans. Serving in the military for 16 years, primarily in education and training, the Albertan has tirelessly advocated for soldiers and their families who suffer from PTSD. Giselle! And pageantry serves as a unique and larger platform for her message, something she spoke about at the airport en route to the international competition. We have lost more soldiers to suicide since the time of Canada's participation in the war in Afghanistan than the soldiers that unfortunately lost their lives while there. I've seen firsthand what post-traumatic stress disorder can do to somebody who's struggling and doesn't have adequate resources. Research shows only 20.6% of Canadian Armed Forces veterans released after 2015 have received treatment for combat-related post-traumatic stress disorder, a startling reality some say isn't highlighted enough and often gets forgotten. We still have thousands of troops deployed uh, in places like Latvia and the Middle East, um, but the public has moved on to, to newer topics. And so I think having someone like Giselle doing pageantry, uh, hitting a new audience, being the first veteran that won a national competition, having a train made out of handmade poppies, I think that's just going to spark a new conversation. What kind of cascading like this? A conversation Drew Walsh hopes will continue to spread to more audiences. Kathy Lee, CTV News, Calgary.